Hello YouTube and welcome to this week's episode of Brainstorm where I give you a glimpse of what's new in the world of science. Our top story comes from the world of medicine where researchers at the University of California in San Diego were able to convert embryonic stem cells into self-renewing neural precursor cells. These precursor cells can then be turned into many different kinds of neurons. Converting stem cells into neurons has previously been very difficult, but with the new method developed to induce conversion, they should be able to produce a high quantity of neural stem cells. These neural stem cells will be used for clinical trials and eventually treatment. Our next story comes from the world of nanotechnology where researchers at, at MIT were trying to improve the efficiency of solar cells by using carbon nanotubes to collect the electrons. However, there are several challenges when using carbon nanotubes including that they tend to clump together, reducing efficiency. To solve this issue, the researchers genetically engineered a virus to hold the nanotubes in place with their proteins, as well as assist in the molecular assembly of the solar cell. These virus-assisted nanotubes increase the efficiency by around one-third and could be easily implemented into the current manufacturing process. And from the world of physics, the Large Hadron Collider broke a world record by increasing its particle beam intensity. This increase in beam intensity means a greater chance of proton collisions and therefore a greater opportunity to study the resulting exotic particles. Scientists say this increase in power could lead to many new discoveries, including finally observing the Higgs boson. Our final story comes from the world of astrobiology, where researchers in Japan discovered some bacteria can grow in up to 400,000 times Earth's gravity. They tested this by putting bacteria in high-powered centrifuge for 140 hours and studied five different species with varying levels of success, but all the bacteria tested could withstand around 20,000 Gs. This discovery expands the range of habitats for alien life and increases the plausibility of transport of microbes through meteor impact. Well, that's it for this week's episode of Brainstorm. If you enjoyed it, consider subscribing, and don't forget to check the links to all the stories, as well as my Twitter and Facebook, in the video description. There's also a link to some Brainstorm merchandise if you're interested. Thanks for watching.